Hope. Today on the Edgy Veg, I wanted to share with you guys my monthly favorites for April. So these are things that I discovered this month that I really liked and that I wanted to share with you guys. The first thing I wanted to share with you are these products from Madame Glam. So they sent me a little box and just like wanted me to try them out and I really like them. They sent me um, an eyeshadow which is really, really nice and pigmented. Nail polishes. These ones I liked. I like the colors. They stayed on for a while. Um, a lot longer than a lot of the other ones that I've tried that are vegan and all of their stuff is cruelty free And then they sent me a whole bunch of lipsticks to try and I love lipstick I love wearing like fun colors. So this one's pretty good I've been wearing it with a lip liner underneath and it tends to stay on for most of the most of the time my next product is this uh, detox and renew serum by uh, Graydon skincare. I've talked about them before I love 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 her products uh, made locally in Toronto this is amazing. I put this on before bed and if I have like a little blemish or something, it's actually like gone in the morning. It's amazing. The next one is the Putty also by Graydon Skin Care. Really, really good as an eye cream um, and, and just like during the day if your skin's feeling really dry. Love this stuff. Again, it's mostly like Graydon products that I use on my skin and I love them. I'm obsessed. It's the only thing that really helps like if I have a breakout it helps to bring it down and helps prevent it as well and I kind of interchanged this with the green cream that I had talked about before the next thing are these go macro granola bars I always keep bars and like vegan snacks in my purse um, when I'm on the go or when I'm traveling because you never know what kind of situation you're going to run into and I get hangry like so quickly so I love these go macro bars it's just a few ingredients like this one is apples and walnuts sesame butter and dates cashew butter they're all organic ingredients it's a family-owned company um, and like like this one is brown rice syrup organic cashew uh, puff brown rice, cashews, and that's it. The next one I'm really excited about. I found this at my local Walmart. I haven't seen it anywhere else. Um, and I, I mean, we don't go to Walmart very often in here because there isn't one close by, but I went to a Walmart and I found this. This is Vegemo. So this is the first ever veggie-based non-dairy milk. It's fortified with B12. It's also lactose-free, gluten-free, soy-free. Uh, GMO free, cholesterol free, vegan, and kosher. So if you have any dietary restriction under the sun, unless you're allergic to pea, tapioca, and potato, <laughs> this is a really good option. I will definitely be adding it to like my cycle of the milks that I use. For cooking, this was amazing. I usually cook with soy milk. Um, I just tend to feel like it's, it's a little bit easier to cook with. It's a lot creamier. And this has the creaminess of soy milk. And it tastes really good. I was very, very skeptical about, you know, drinking milk made from pea, tapioca, and potato. And it's really creamy. It's really tasty. It doesn't have a weird aftertaste. Um, and it didn't froth up in my milk frother like, it, like soy milk does. Um, but it was very, very creamy and yummy and light when I put it through there. So I put this in my smoothies, I've had it in my cereal on its own, um, and I've cooked with it. And I love it. It's really, really good. So you just won an award uh, for most innovative product in the grocery innovation show in Canada. So you should definitely try them out if you can find them near you. I don't know how readily available they are. They are a super new product. Those are my monthly favorites for April. If you like this type of video, leave me a comment below letting me know that you would like to see more of this. Um, if you like the video, make sure you give it a big huge thumbs up. If you didn't like it, maybe like leave me a note in the comments telling me why you didn't like it. And then give it a thumbs up because we're friends and friends like things that other friends do and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button it's free you'll get the first notification when all my videos come out and make sure that you follow me on snapchat and instagram to see what i am doing on a daily basis and i will talk to you very very soon bye Making a Chick-fil-A sandwich is a super easy task. We are just going to take whatever chicken substitute you want, 